Using your phone's Wi-Fi hotspot is a great way to take advantage of many connected features of your Tesla infotainment system without having to pay for premium connectivity. Today I'm going to show you how to automate the hotspot connection process so you can enjoy these features without ever taking your phone out of your pocket. To start, you'll need an Android phone running version 4.0 or greater with hotspot capabilities and a cellular data plan. Next, you'll need the Automate app, which you can download from the Play Store. Automate is a program that allows you to configure flows to automate common tasks on your phone, like this one. Now, Automate's a pretty easy app to get the hang of. If you want to try building this yourself, I'll leave an image of my flow to the left. Alternatively, I'll drop a link to the flow below the like button if you want to try downloading it and importing it. I'll show you how to do that here. Let's click on that link, and then you'll get an option to open that FLO file in Automate. We'll do that now. Hit Import, accept the terms and conditions, and here we are, already presented with the option to start the flow. We want to give it the privilege to connect to nearby devices. We're going to allow it to modify system settings because it has to be able to do that to turn on the hotspot. We're going to ignore app hibernation so this always runs in the background. And then we're also going to ignore battery optimizations. The final thing we want to do before we start the flow is go ahead and hit edit, click on the flow icon, and then find the Bluetooth icon here. We're going to need to change this device address to match the address of your vehicle, unique to your Tesla. You can specify it in the box, or you can also pick the device. From your Bluetooth settings menu. You'll also have to adjust this setting or copy the Bluetooth icon from earlier for the block that will turn off Wi-Fi if that Bluetooth isn't connected. All right, so now that we made those changes, let's go back to the main menu and hit start. You can see the log files are showing up there. Another setting you'll probably want to change is to have the Automate app and the Flow automatically start every time you reboot your phone. This way it's truly a set it and forget it. We'll hit the hamburger menu, go settings, and select run on system startup. The next step is to go into your car, into the settings mode, go up here to the top right, and turn on your Wi-Fi. Now I've already paired my phone with the car, so as soon as I do that, it connects. And what you want to make sure is checked is remain connected and drive. Now let's do a demo and see what this looks like when we approach the vehicle. All right, I have my Automate app open right now. I'm going to hit start on the flow. And the log has begun. Now I'm going to turn off the screen on my phone, walk out to the car, and let's see if this works. All right, so now that I'm in the car, we don't see anything on the screen yet to indicate that the Wi-Fi is on. Usually it takes about 10 seconds for the car to recognize the network. If I were to switch it and drive right now, it's not likely that it would end up making a connection because as soon as you switch it to drive and the Wi-Fi isn't connected, then uh, it won't end up making a connection. All right, there we go. Wi-Fi icon just showed up in the top. There's my phone. We are connected. That allows us to open up Tidal app, for example. We can choose some music and start playing some Drake. Other things we can do, the web browser, check the air quality, see how things are going. Now that the Wi-Fi is working, we can put the vehicle in drive and we will remain connected in drive 
because we chose that option. All right, now that I'm exiting the vehicle, we'll see how long it takes for the flow to disconnect and turn off the Wi-Fi hotspot. In summary, there are a few trade-offs with this approach. First off, you have to wait every time you get into your vehicle for your phone to connect. Another drawback is that it doesn't automatically switch from your home Wi-Fi network to your phone when you enter at home. You also don't get satellite view, traffic, or any of the remote sentry cam functionality with this approach. But the pros, you save $9.99 a month or $99 a year on the premium connectivity.